Hey guys, how you doing? It's Chris again from Cheap Tech, and in this video, uh, we're going to be using the Smart Switch application uh, to transfer all the data or transferable data from my iPhone 10 to the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So, a couple of things you'll need one is this little um, USB C. To uh, bear with me. Can we get a focus? There we go. USB C to USB adapter that comes in the box with the uh, Galaxy Note 9, and just a standard USB to Lightning cable. So the Smart Switch software comes already on the Note 9. So what we'll do. Open Smart Switch. There you go, that's got uh, Bixby off its backside. <laughs> so, Smart Switch, blah blah blah, press the start button. Terms of service, agree. Uh, to get started, Smart Switch needs access to phone contacts, calendar, text messages storage microphone location okay um, it says an update but we'll do that later so I want to transfer using USB cable so we'll plug just bear with me plug that in there this thing goes in there and then the lightning cable okay so it's already recognized we're connecting to an ISO device and on the iPhone it says trust this computer your settings and data will be accessible from this computer when connected so trust uh, Okay, I'll just need to enter my passcode. Let's just come off screen. Okay, so we click next on the Samsung. Okay, so it's connecting. And it's doing its thing. Okay, guys, so we're nearly there. We're on 99.5%. Uh, it's been searching my iPhone. Now I did get halfway through and had uh, to start it again uh, because I had left the case on and the dongle wasn't pushed in all the way and I uh, it registered as the cable had been moved so I've had to start it again. Oh okay. So what's it saying now? Let's have a look. I've got a message. Uh, content search complete okay whatever that is so it's saying now I can uh, 190 contacts 447 messages calendar clock wall paper music okay time about four minutes it's gonna use 21.46 gig Oh, let's press, press, press. <laughs> let's press transfer. Right, guys. So we've got to this point where <clears throat> the transfer is complete, and now it's um, downloading all the apps that it's identified um, on the iPhone, and it's now downloading them the Android versions of them, obviously. So I'm just going to leave this running and catch up at the end. Hey guys, how you doing? Back in now and uh, pleased to report that the smart switch is now finished. 
and what we've basically got then is all the apps that were on my iPhone that could be used on on my um, Note 9 which is obviously Android instead of iOS um, it's, it's put all those apps on for me it's transferred all my um, transferred all my text messages that were on my iPhone um, it's transferred all my pictures that were on my iPhone <clears throat> so uh, just find my pictures so I think it was on my iPhone is now on my Samsung now obviously things like um, Gmail uh, or my emails that's cloud based um, also because I did sync to Google uh, photos on my iPhone that will also sync over to there all my contacts are stored in the cloud as well so they transferred automatically but what the smart switch has done is it's given me that continuity now to start using a new device and not worry about sort of trying to find a text message from two or three months ago that I couldn't find because I swapped phones and that sort of thing so um, so it's been a bit of a long and disjointed video um, since it's finished I've charged I've charged the phone because it did take a lot out, out um, power wise and I've also gone and had my tea as well so uh, <laughs> hence the time difference so anyway guys um, thanks for watching give us a thumbs up and a like and uh, if you'd like to leave a comment about what you've seen or if there's anything you need to know about the process please do uh, get in touch and um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one